Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be talking about a few tips and tricks that I think you might not know about the iPad. Now here's the thing with the iPad, it has been out for long enough that there are some tips and tricks that I think are absolutely incredible, incredible helpful tools, but unless you dig around in some of the kind of documentation that Apple does, you might not know all these tips and tricks. And so I wanna get after this. What are some amazing tips and tricks? We're gonna to try to do it in about three minutes, so let's jump in. So first and foremost, we're gonna talk about a few great gestures. Now the first tip is a great gesture. If you have your cursor set somewhere and you wanna paste something, you take three fingers, tap real quick next to it, and as you can see at the top of the screen, it came up with the paste icon, you can paste something right there. Using three fingers to paste is really easy. Next, we're gonna talk about the easiest way to copy anything on your iPad. Let's jump right into it. So, say you have some text selected. If you take three fingers and you swipe inward, that will copy it, and then, and this is kind of the other tip, if you take three fingers and you push them outward, kind of through like that, if you push them outward, then it will paste it. That's the fastest way that you can copy and paste anything in an iPad. Now, the next big tip is if you have already done that, you've pasted something, say you didn't want to do that. Anytime you wanna undo or redo something, if you swipe to the left with three fingers, it undoes it. If you swipe to the right with three fingers, it redoes whatever action that is. And so that's a really helpful tool with an iPad. There's a lot of times where you'll type something or you'll paste something or highlight something and you don't want that done. Just three, three fingers swipe to the left, and it's gone. Now the next tool is really helpful if you wanna take a quick screenshot. Let me show you how to do that real quick. Now screenshots are so helpful on the iPad. There's a lot of times where I need to take a screenshot. I need to keep some information and I need it to be handy. So I wanna show you how to do this. It's an awesome little tip. If you take your iPad, right, any iPad, and you just swipe up from the bottom left corner, it takes a full screenshot. Now on the bottom here, you can see that you can actually um, get in there and annotate stuff. You can kind of send it out to different people if you need to export it. It's a very, very helpful tool. So like say there was something you wanted to do and you wanted to highlight this little section right here, you could highlight it, absolutely no problem. It's pretty sweet. Now the next little tip is if you have just created a screenshot and you don't wanna kinda clog up your Photos app and you don't want all these extra screenshots saved around, you can copy it and delete it. That is so helpful, because then it just copies it to a clipboard, you can paste it into notes, you can paste it into something else. Uh, but that's really helpful, because I hate having a bunch of screenshots on my iPad, which I'm sure you do too. It's really annoying, so don't keep a bunch of screenshots. Limited space, right? Space is expensive on these things. Let's get into the next tip. All right, this next tip is one of my absolute most used ones ever. Now, if you're out there, you're typing, you know, this is specifically if you don't have a keyboard. So say you're typing, but you, you, you do the thing where you kind of fiddle with the cursor and it goes everywhere. It doesn't go where you want it to go. The easiest way to do it is by holding down the space bar. And if you can see the cursor, kind of like the, the area where there's the keys become a trackpad, it's so cool. So that's really helpful because it becomes so precise. Now here is the next tip. I don't even know what tip number we're on, but here's the next tip. If you hold down the space bar, it becomes this. And say you wanted to select this right here, you would tap the screen and that would enter into selection mode. And then you just select what you wanna select. Hey, three finger swipe to take it away or take it in, paste it like that. So if you hold down the space bar, tap another one, that's how you get that selection tool up. I think that's a super helpful thing, especially as somebody who's always editing text documents, it's really helpful. All right, now this next one is pretty cool. It's a very easy way. Now you can swipe from the bottom and kind of do a little arc like that to go to an app that you were just in. I find this really helpful when I'm copying something from one app, wanna to go to another one. You can also just use four fingers and do that. It makes it super easy to go between apps by using four fingers. And this is my sermon from Sunday, so don't look. All right, this next app, this is a very funny picture to have up. This next app is really helpful for parents. If you wanna give your kid an iPad to use, but you don't want them to access any other apps, let me show you how to do it. It's really, really easy. All you need to do is set up what's called guided access. With guided access, you can triple click the home button and then you push start. Now your kid has guided access. They can't get into anything else they can only get into this. Even if you swipe up, no matter what, they can't get into any other app than the app that you already have them in, which is incredibly helpful. You know, I've got two young kids. If I don't want them kind of going on YouTube or anything like that, I can make sure that I set something. They cannot get out of it. And then when you want to be done with it, triple click out, put in a fake password that I made just for this video, and you can end it. Then you can just get back to your regular iPad. It's, it's incredibly helpful. Now, the way that you set that up is you go into settings, you go into accessibility, which is there, go into guided access, turn on guided access, and then you just set a passcode for it by hitting set a passcode. Um, and then one of the things that you need to do is go in and set the accessibility shortcut right here at the bottom. 
and you pick guided access. That way, when you're on whatever app it is that you have for your kid, you triple click that and they can't get in or out of that. Now, it's also helpful if you have an iPad out on display, say it's for like a church and you're gonna have check-ins and stuff and you don't want anybody to kind of swipe out and go do something else, you can set that so that they're in like the planning center app or something like that to check in and they can't get on any other apps. And real quick, if you're finding this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button. It, it might not mean much to you, but it really does mean the world of difference on a YouTube video. And if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, we're on the way to 10,000. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel. I would absolutely, absolutely appreciate it. All right, now for the final tip, we are gonna talk about how you can have a note, any note, and make sure that it's locked down so nobody else can get access to it. Let's talk about it. When you open up your notes app, uh, say you're on the side, like say you have, I don't know, secret information. You don't want somebody to know your quotes from a book that you just read. And so all you gotta do is take that note, hold your finger down on it, and then click this button to lock the note. If you click that button to lock the note, it'll ask you how you wanna kind of retrieve the information. I just use the iPad code for this, and that way somebody would need to type in the code to get to that. That's helpful if you do keep passwords. I would still use a password manager. Actually, Apple's new password app is pretty great. Um, but that's like, man, say you have like garage codes and stuff like that that you don't want people to access, I would do that every time. So those were just a couple tips on how you can use your iPad to the absolute most extent. Not every single tip is in there. These are just a few ones that I've learned recently and I find them helpful. Let me know if you found them helpful. Let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite tip that you either learned today or one that you've learned in the past that you use all the time? I'll see you guys in the next one.